चाहिए एक कैंडीडेट के नाल तो डीप डाइव डिस्कशन करावेंगे वन ऑन वन मुलाकात करावेंगे बट आई आल्सो वांट टू थैंक द लाइव ऑडियंस दैट्स जॉइनिंग अस सो प्लीज जॉइन मी इन वेलकमिंग कैंडिडेट फॉर डिस्ट्रिक्ट 23 ऑफ न्यूयॉर्क सिटी रनिंग फॉर सिटी काउंसिल हरप्रीत सिंह तुर्जी एंड द लाइव ऑडियंस जॉइनिंग अस फ्रॉम हिज कैंपेन ऑफिसेस थैंक यू एंड वेलकम टू एवरीवन तुर्जी थैंक यू सत्यकाल सत्यकाल थैंक यू थैंक्स थैंक 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 फॉर कमिंग इन एंड थैंक्स फॉर दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी सो दैट वी कैन टॉक एंड देयर इज वन मोर थिंग व्हिच आई वुड लाइक टू ऐड and uh, like they say if you're not at the table you're on the menu so we have been on the menu for long enough it's about time to be on the table absolutely um turji my viewers may be that's not chandni and that the live audience joining us tonight jo loki ithe ponche hai turji nu support karan layi ya ohna de naal direct gal karan layi it's a mixed crowd it's a diverse crowd it represent kar da is district nu tur sahab i want to start the conversation with in a diverse district in this part of new york city what makes you the right candidate to represent all of these people well i have been uh, active in political life since i landed here i figured out that if you want to succeed to have your rights then you have to fight for it nobody is going to give it out to you sitting home mm -hmm. and my fight started when i got refused to get a job with the beard and turban mm -hmm. and i knew that i have to work hard not only to get established in this country feed my family mm -hmm. but a parallel fight has to go on to get the rights mm -hmm. it's different to say equal rights mm -hmm. but when it comes down to getting the equal rights mm -hmm. you have to fight for it absolutely um you know tur sab once again this a part of new york city uh it comprises of a lot of different types of groups apne punjabiyan di kinni vaddi ginti hai gi sikhan di kinne gurudware hai gi um you know there's latinos there's african americans there's caucasians you know asians all manner of folks your experience working with the city tell us about that how do you know what you can give to these people based on your experience with the city well it's a good question that you asked uh, the audience which i have you will see you know there are like you mentioned you know african american latinos you know there are people from pakistan and of course punjabi sex and of course some hindus also i have worked with all the groups you know what happens is you know sometime i just laugh at it that of course we also have a jewish uh, uh, person in the audience too i always laugh that when i get up in the morning i'm a sick i do my prayers and everything part sab kuch karna hai ga but then i go out i go to the church i become christian i go to the mosque i become muslim i go to synagogue i become jew and believe me i mean when you go into those places you will you will be astonished to find that needs are the same mm -hmm. expectations are the same but the government has let them let every minority down mm -hmm. same way when it came down to certain uh, services mm -hmm. how would you be different because you know uh, we have to say this every politician when it comes to campaign season when it comes to the election and the votes always make promises that i'll be different i'll give them what they need how will you give these diverse people what they need that you feel has been denied to them well first of all to get anything you need to know what the needs are mm -hmm. which i already know okay based on my own experience you know uh, when you need the medical coverage it's not there when i got sick i could not get the help from anywhere yeah. even though a, an assemblyman offered that he will get me tested for covid even if he could not get it wow okay so that actually showed me that there is a lack of services mm -hmm. in the community mm -hmm. and when i started after recovering from covid when i started going around i found out like with the pastor here kairon and then pastor carlos uh, he should be here soon that when you go to these communities mm -hmm. they are suffering same way mm -hmm. even some of them even worse than me and i'm like if i can communicate in english mm. 
-hmm. and I can discuss, I can have arguments, mm -hmm. and these people, they can't. Mm -hmm. They need a voice. And I decided that to be that voice, you, if I have been fighting that, mm -hmm. I can be the voice at the table because I have learned how to work with the different groups of elected people, mm -hmm. and I have achieved a lot of things previously, and I know I can achieve more. Um, Mr. Thur, the last year, especially for New York City, has been, you know, one for the books, historical in terms of, you know, the damage it has done, especially to the small businesses, to the immigrant communities, the impoverished communities. Um, you know, for those that may be in your district, what do you think they need the most right now from their leader at City Council? Well, there are two aspects to that. One is, of course, with the vaccination, the city is opening up. But the most important factor, which right now we have to deal with, the seniors and the children. Mm -hmm. Because there is no vaccination for the children and school will be opening up soon. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the mayor is requiring full-time at uh, school attendance and yes. starting in September yep. so we will be talking there about that also but also at the same time we got to stop the bleeding and closing down of the small businesses mm -hmm. first we stop these businesses from closing down mm -hmm. stop bleeding and then slowly but surely give them the ground solidify the ground so that they can rebuild based on that uh, strength. So I'm gonna talk a little bit more about what this rebuilding looks like, what these small businesses need. Uh, but my viewers are here, I'm going to tour ji de naal, a program, you can see the next four weeks. So you will also get a chance to get a live program. We are taking a little break. After a break, the live audience will join in the conversation and they get to talk to their candidate, ask him some good questions, grill you a little bit, um, and we'll see you after the break. Break the bus, Aida Swagata to see Vekrio Sadi's special production, The Battle for City Council, Joke Esvil in New York City, the District 23, the which Jari, the candidate Harpreet Singh Tur, Joke Lumbe Summit, his community like Hissahan, Esla Rai, the which Lare. Subtopele Tur Sab, I want to ask you, you know, you have a live audience here, Loki Kathehoe, um, in Adevare to see Sanuki Kana Chauge. Well, first of all, I have to thank them all because they have a faith in me. When I announced that, okay, I'm running, they came out they, and they said, you don't need to explain to us anything. We know you. We understand what you have done for the community and what you are trying to do for the communities, mm -hmm. not just for the community. And uh, we trust you and we have faith in you and we know you will deliver. And that is something, you know, which is very close and precious to me. And I really appreciate that they have such a faith in me that I, they, they really trust that I can deliver what we're talking about. So let's uh, put this to the test. The live audience is ready to grill, Mr. Thur. Um, let's see what questions they have. Uh, once again, it's a packed house and, uh, you know, everyone is here. They're excited. Cha pani di seva already ho chuki hai. Don't worry. I'm going to start with the lovely lady sitting in the front. Um, please stand up. Tell us your name and, uh, you know, what do you want to ask the candidate? Yeah, definitely. That's why we are here. We do want to ask him. And uh, it's not any specific question I want. I just want to know your uh, opinion. What do you think is more important now? If one thing you could change, what it would be? That is a great question to begin with. As of today, uh, post-pandemic, Pre-pandemic, it was all about pandemic. But what is happening post-pandemic is there is a spurt and increase in the crime. And once I'm there, even before I'm there, immediately after June 22, I'm going to constitute a group of people from among my supporters to go out and talk to different communities and find out. Not only about the crimes, but also what ex except having that same level of the police protection and uh, police protection and funding, what else they want, which is, of course, then brings us the education for the kids, because schools will be opening full time starting September, students have to be in the class. 
so those are the two major concerns which are uh, bringing to my uh, which have been brought to my attention right now and that's where i'm focused right now all right thank you um moving right along uh, sir please tell us your name and what question or comment do you have for the candidate yes uh, my name is pupinder singh jaswal and i have a question mr tour occupy city hall protester one major cost to the police defunding police means defunding police i have a question to you is why they want to defund the police? Pupinder Singh Ji, thanks. Thanks for coming in and that's a great question. I personally still am struggling to ask them same question, why defund the police? Especially the DSA candidate, the, who, the candidate who called themselves Democratic Socialist of America, they are behind it. We have to remember one thing, that finally, in the upper echelons of the police department, there are the officers from minority communities. And they understand when they go out for anything or they send an officer, they understand, okay, this is the case in this community, let me send that person. So all of a sudden, you are taking out the gas out of the whole thing. And definitely we don't want to go back to back in 1980s and the 1990s when 2,000 to 23, 2,400 people died every year. Now we are down to 2, 300. And now it is, there is, we do see increase, but we have to keep the crime at the lowest level. One of the reasons why New York City expanded the way it expanded was because the crime went down, the people decided to live within the city. And we want the people who live within the city that they love their city and they want to stay in the city. Sir Sri Kalji, my name is Preet Pal Singh Dihana. I am from Sheet Pai Mani Singh Ji Kalji Society, New York. My question is, Tour Sahib, you know, uh, yellow cab industry is the one pillar of New York City. Yellow cab, they current New York never sleep. We say New York City never sleep, but it's not sleep. My question is, के जो तो तुसी इलेक्टेड हो के जाऊंगे ते साड़ी जड़ी इंडस्ट्री होन खत्म होन दे कनारे या लगभग खत्म हो चुकी है कि तुसी वो दे ले कुछ कर सकते हैं। Well, you know that is something which is very close to my heart because I have been working with the yellow cab industry for more than twenty years now. I got couple of things done. The people who are involved in yellow cab industry they are aware of that. Now coming to the question, how the city can help. I always say, if you can give a billion dollar to Yankees to rebuild the stadium, why they cannot give the money to the people, the yellow medallion owners who have gone under? Why they have to struggle? There has to be a way. Can I do it on my own? I can't. But am I already working on it? Yeah, there are few pieces I'm working on it, and one of the pieces actually which I supported was uh, by the Senator Jessica Ramos in New York State Assembly, which is going to take its own time. But yes, we have to provide relief to those people who have paid such a heavy price by losing their medallions, and some of them even lost their houses, and I will never let it go out of my sight. Thank you once again, Mr. Thur. And last but not least, a familiar name, Kasi ki sade viewers le, Satnam Singh Parhar ji, active ho tu si, aaj tu si Thur ji le ithe paunche ho. Um, sir, to aada ki question ya comment hai? Mera, pehli gal, thank you very much for organizing this program. And uh, it's a great deal for us, for our community. Sab to vada question, Thur sahab sade ya, vote ranu pata hona chahi da. कि ऐसे रैंक वोटिंग, रैंक चॉइस, सो मैनी ऑफ़ द वोटर्स डेसन नो व्हाट इज़ दैट व्हेन आई वाज़ ए कैंडिडेट दैट टाइम दैट वाज़ नथिंग लाइक दैट एंड दिस इज़ न्यू दैट्स ए माय फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन सो मैनी पीपल आर एक्सप्लेनिंग बट मैनी ऑफ़ आस डोंट अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज़ चॉइस � कदो तो शुरू हो सकन ताकि कोई भी बंदा मिस ना करे देखन पोटेंटियल स्केड्यूल इंडिया कैलेंडर थैंक यू प्रहार साहब थैंक यू वेरी मच एंड वी आर प्राउड ऑफ योर रन आल्सो व्हेन यू रन फॉर सिटी काउंसल रैंक चॉइस वोटिंग बिल्कुल इट्स कोई शक नहीं इट्स ए बिट कंफ्यूजिंग बट देयर इज ए सिंपल सॉल्यूशन फॉर 
in a way, even though it is not that simple. What you have to do is look for Harpi Singh Tour. Go to the console where we seven people are listed. Go to my name, which is on number six. That's for me. That's the easiest part. Now the tough part is come, comes in, you know, how, how it works. That is something we have talked about and probably we will be discussing down the road on the TV in more detail. But right now, the most important thing is that and the second thing which is the early voting starts on June 12th. Primary is on June 22nd. But the ballots are already being mailed to your houses. Make sure that we know that we have to sign on the envelope in which we are putting up the ballot. If we remember, when you go to cast the ballot in person, you sign on the match. So your envelope has to match with your signatures because the envelope has the code in it which links your name with the database. And if your signatures don't match, your ballot is out. And that envelope is a very important envelope and make sure that the person in whose name that ballot is, he signs that uh, envelope. Thank you so much once again, Mr. Tour. Just like Tour Ji ne, Satnam Parhar Ji ne kya, is saal, khas karke is race de which, in the city council race, the voting is new, it's different. Edi jaan kari tusi screen te likhi vi dek sakde ho, tusi contact kar sakde ho, anu koi vi questions on early voting the dates, screen te likhi ahoi ho, anu note kar lo, make sure tusi register registered hege and thodi registration the information correct hai jis tarah tur sahab ne kiya is tarah da episode ek hor tod nal pesh karange agle hafte sade liye koi questions comments concerns tusi sanu vi likh sakde ho info at justbroadcasting.com once again thank you to our live audience who have gathered here for her preet singh tour in his campaign headquarters we'll see you next week